Staying on health, Taiwanese need to wear their masks more, says Health Minister Chen Shizong, if they want to keep coronavirus at bay. Currently, there are eight major locations where the government says masks should always be worn, including stores and public transport. But with compliance rates below 70 percent, the public is not taking their responsibility seriously, say officials. Chen says that fines may be introduced if compliance does not improve. Entering a supermarket, everyone is asked to disinfect their hands. A recorded announcement continually asks you to wear a mask. But despite the staff on lookout, some unmasked Avengers creep in via a side entrance. They didn't even forget to bring a mask, but took them off inside and put them in their pockets. In this one store, 200 unmasked customers are apprehended every day. It's even worse at traditional markets. Hardly anyone's wearing one. There are still some places where no one's wearing them. I'm scared when I see people without them. They should set some fines to make people feel alert about it. In early August, the Central Epidemic Command Center named eight major locations where masks must always be worn, including public transport, stores and markets, and medical centers. But not enough people take it seriously. If the compliance rate were 80 percent, Taiwan would be safe. 70 percent is a bit dangerous below 70 percent, and you're just waiting for trouble to come and find you. Obviously, that's where we are now. We will probably continue to publicize this for a bit. If the compliance rate doesn't go up, we may start issuing fines at these eight types of locations. Mask wearing is going down, but mask hoarding is once more on the up. Pharmacies, supermarkets and convenience stores have all reported customers fighting over masks in recent weeks. Buy masks, but don't fight over them. We've got 240 million on ice. Not actually on ice, just not in use. They're in our reserve stores. So there won't be a problem. You can relax. Health Minister Chen Shizhong seemed rather long-suffering as he exhorted the public to focus more on wearing their masks than on purchasing them.